A Russian fighter jet has just crashed into a U.S. drone and dropped the drone into the Black Sea. Now, this might not actually be the worst thing for the United States, and I will explain. Now, before we all freak out, let me give you the facts of what we know. Let me give you the speculation, and then I'm going to give you what the outcome of all of this could be. Fact number one, the Biden administration is aware of what's going on and they have acknowledged what's going on. So we just want you guys to know the president is aware and the United States is trying to handle all of this. Fact number two, again, this is all public information. The U.S. Euro Command stated that the drone flying over the Black Sea was well within international airspace. So they were allowed to be there. They claimed they were up to nothing suspicious. Now, there were two Russian fighter jets that flew out to the U.S. drone. These Russian jets have been identified as Su-27s. And I know some of you are going to ask, the drone being used by the United States is the MQ-9. So, if you were not aware, it's not uncommon for Russian jets to intercept U.S. jets or vice versa. This happens all the time. You can even throw China in the equation. But the way the Russians interacted with this drone was definitely not common. What we are being told is that the fighter jets were dumping fuel on top of the drone and in front of the drone on several occasions. Okay, speculation time. People are saying Russian jets dumped fuel on that drone to try destroying the sensors and knock it out of the air that way. Because obviously the Russians are not going to cause World War III by shooting down a drone in the middle of the Black Sea. The Russians know they still have a lot to lose, so they're not really trying to instigate another war by shooting down a drone. Now, here's my disclaimer. I tried to verify all sides and tell their side of the story. From the Russian perspective and the internet who supports Russia, they could care less. Reason being, understand this. The Russians know that the U.S. has been flying drones over Crimea, so they could care less if one of the drones fell out of the sky because, oops, a jet crashed into it. But we didn't shoot it down, we crashed into it. And essentially, that's how this all ended. One of the fighter jets got too close to the drone, hit the front propeller of the drone, and dropped it into the Black Sea, and we call that a total loss in military terms. Now, I did mention for the U.S. military, this might not be the worst thing ever, and let me get into that. It just so happens that the new defense budget for the Pentagon is being proposed, and it's a lot of money. $842 billion is the proposal for the Pentagon's budget in 2024. This happens to be a $26 billion increase, and here's the thing. The two militaries who justify increasing this budget, as in they are an enemy to the United States, that would happen to be China and Russia. Which means Russia may have just sealed the deal by crashing into a drone of an $842 billion defense budget for the Pentagon. Something else I need to mention is that the United States talking about raising the defense budget because of Russia and China, they're pretty confident that there will be military action against the two. And understand this, I'm not saying the U.S. military is lying or trying to hype anything up. They have more intelligence than we do, but we are coming out of the GWAT era, the global war on terrorism. During that war, there was justification for the money coming in. And there's been a lot of question as to whether or not this is a serious thing. Like most people know we're sending over money to Ukraine, we're giving them equipment, that should be enough. But no, the U.S. military is saying there might legitimately be boots on the ground fighting, we need to prepare for this. Now, let's go over outcomes. Is World War III going to start? Is President Biden going to sanction Russia even more? I doubt it. Look, at this point, Russia and the United States are so far away from being friends, it's almost scary. Now, I don't think this will instigate a nuclear war because to Russia, yeah, we're not friends with the United States, but we're really not friends with Ukraine. We are at war with Ukraine. Everyone else, leave us alone. I also want to put this disclaimer out here that the United States did say they are going to contact and reach the Russian Federation because there hasn't been a lot of information from the Russian side. We don't know if these two pilots were rogue pilots and just getting a little too close to the drone. Again, it's very common for Russian aircraft to intercept American aircraft. 
The main information that the Russians gave pretty much everyone is that they're not afraid to piss people off. Again, how much more can people hate Russia and the fact that they were willing to take jets, spray fuel over a drone, and then knock it out of the sky? I think that's very bold. The US military is actually really good from taking failures and changing SOPs. Those are called standard operating procedures. And again, I'm saying this because the United States and Russia, whenever they do military operations or they are testing equipment, believe it or not, there's actually a respect to notify one another of what's going on. So what I'm hoping was this is just a total mishap and information was not given from Russia to the United States, United States to Russia, and I'm hoping the changes in the the SOP will help negate any more aerial collisions. <sighs> okay, so these are the facts we have today as I am making this video. This is the speculation coming from both sides. I do want to further update the situation if anything else arises, but I don't think anything will come of this. I think mainly this will be President Biden having to prove himself as a president and leader. Now, this might be the golden ticket for President Biden. Luckily, no one was hurt from the Russian and American side, but the total failure from the evacuation of Afghanistan, the total failure of the hot air balloons flying from China over the United States, right here, right now, is where President Biden can be an amazing military leader, an amazing American leader, and tell the Russians to go shove it. Don't ever do that again. I got really patriotic for some reason, but leave your comments down below and your opinion on what you think should happen and what you think will happen.